line. I was in constant phone contact with uh, members of the command staff up at headquarters. I was giving them pretty much a minute by minute briefing on where the vehicle was, how it was traveling, and um, you know where we thought maybe it was going. It began to get hectic right around this point as far as what, what we were going to do and when, and when we were going to when we were going to do it. We decided we did not want him out of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, so the decision was made to stop the vehicle. Albert pulled the couple over and said he was seizing the car. Markov didn't seem surprised. He had nothing to say, didn't want to know why the car was being taken, and uh, he, was, he was acting very unusual, considering the circumstances. Philip refused to speak without a lawyer, but Megan had a lot of questions for police. I don't believe she had any idea of the activities that Philip was into in the weeks that she was away in New Jersey. I put a surveillance photo of the individual that we had at the Marriott Hotel and she said to me, oh, that's Philip. Where did you get this picture from? It was a damning identification. And then more news came in from New York City, where a detective had caught up with Trisha. He gave me a pile of, I, I believe it was seven different photos. I started going through them one by one. When I got to number five, I started shaking. And I said, this is him. On April 20th, police arrested Philip Markoff for the murder of Julissa Brisman and the robbery of Trisha Lesler. It felt like a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulder. Of course, it's not going to bring back Julissa, and I wish that she could possibly be here telling you her story also, but I'm glad that my story and my positive identification put him where he was behind bars. Up next, authorities dig for clues into what led the young medical student to murder. He seemed to have led a perfect life, a facade of normality and stability that masked a dark and very complex inner life. This was Cheryl New York, and I knew this boy. I, I just couldn't believe it. There's got to be some mistake. People who knew him were stunned when Philip Markoff was arrested as the Craigslist killer. When you look at Markoff's background, there really were no major red flags at all. How many times have we done stories about murderers and the neighbors say, boy, he was the nicest guy imaginable, so quiet. 